Williams to the left for Williams. He'll look to throw. Defense coming. Steps up and Williams will be wrapped up. Double team and taken down. You hear the sound is going down. Tyree Wilson, another pass rusher, Cavante, out of Texas Tech University. Another uh, intriguing um, pass rushers, but you know this is a premium position, so he and he has the opportunity to be a premium player at the next level. Tyree Wilson. If you don't know about him, from Henderson, Texas, where's her senior? 6'6, 271, 9 and 5 eighths inch hands, 35 and 5 eighths inch arms. He did have 23 reps of 225, and he pretty much came off the bench in 2019, 12 tackles, 3 4 loss, 1 and a half sacks. He did transfer to Texas Tech after being at Texas A&M. I knew he transferred from one Texas school to another. So he transferred from Texas A&M to Texas Tech in 2020, started nine games, a sack and a half. Then he came back with 30, 13 starts in 2021, all Big 12 honors, and Cravante looking like another top, probably the second pass rush off the board, maybe, depending on who you ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so pretty much after <clears throat> Will Anderson, it gets kind of – you know, it's it, it, it goes into like another, I guess, I guess like a tier two pushing tier one bucket, if you will. Um, but Tyree Wilson, um, elite power and has some elite length to him. Um, I believe he's six, um, long arms, you've been through his measurables and all that good stuff. Um, so he's going to give a lot of tackles, um, some issues at the next level. Um, he's very disciplined. Um, I, I, I don't say that too often when it comes to prospects and, and especially being on the defensive side of the ball, being disciplined is very, very important because when you're not, it's a touchdown, <laughs> you know, um, and he's very disciplined at that with staying at home, not over pursuing. Um, so yes, he's really good at that. And also, uh, along with him being disciplined. He's a great run defender, which probably staying home a lot. Running backs try to cut back. Hey, Tyree's there. So, um, so discipline, um, great run defender. His motor doesn't seem to stop. Has a really, really good mo motor and um, relentless in his pursuit. Um, and last thing, which is uh, pretty interesting. I believe he should be used as a versatile defender. I don't think he should purely be a pass rusher because with with his power and length, he could go he could go inside. He could play he could play inside, he could play outside and he could still be effective. But I feel like if he's a pure edge rusher, edge rusher, you you're not going to get the most out of him. Because I feel like you could put him anywhere and he can cause some disruption. But I don't think he should only be um, on the edge. Move him around. He's a very versatile um, defender. And he could uh, give a lot of mismatches on the inside with the guards and centers. Where do you see him going? Because I don't think he's a top 10 guy. I probably don't even have him in my top 15. And that's just personal. But... Where does he go? Does he is he a guy that maybe falls into a lap of a defensive guy who can move him around and use him well? Pro comp as well. Listen, man, I think he has some top ten talent, the edge of the top ten. But just because you got top ten talent doesn't mean you're gonna get picked <laughs> in the top ten. Um, he, um, I can see him. He he's gonna get great. He will give a team great value in the middle of the uh first round. I know you said top 15. I think he's going to go top 15. Um I, but I think I think it's a chance he'll go uh he could be, you know, in that 10, 11, 12 range. Um being his um being his ceiling. But then again, I like I said he has top 10 talent, so if maybe the Raiders or the Falcons fall in love with him, he he'll go there. Um but oh, uh a couple things to point out. The only thing that would make him a bona fide top 10 is he lacks some get off. 
Um, he's not the fastest off the ball. Um, and sometimes he could play. He's 6'5", so sometimes he could play a little too tall. And sometimes a lot of offensive linemen to get, get up under him. And, you know, usually in football, low man wins. So as long as it keeps his pad level down, he should be all right. Pro comp? I have two. Um, I have uh, Matt Judon, and I have um, uh, Eric Armstead. And I have Eric Armstead because Eric Armstead be all over the defense, and he's effective in many different uh, many different ways um, on that defense. Yeah, so, he was like six seven. I loved Eric Armstead coming out. Big big guy, big big guy, yes. and effective. It. So when you see a big guy as a defender, but they can keep their pad level low, just the you know the Forest Buckner's another one, Calais Campbell, yeah. guys like that. Yeah, just causing disrupted disruption all over the place. Sound off and let us know what you think about Tyree Wilson from Texas A and M to Texas Tech to the NFL team coming soon near you. Sound off. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. More draft profiles coming your way.